What I'm seeing up here is um, you do have some insulation. It's pretty minimal. Improving the energy efficiency of your home can lower costs and increase comfort. Yes. yes. Um, go ahead and you can move the insulation that's against the, the chimney and the plumbing vents and foam around that and then just add over the top of that. So The challenge for homeowners is knowing what to do and setting priorities for energy efficiency home improvements. A home energy audit is a systematic evaluation of your home and the way it interacts with the environment. I think the most important thing about a do-it-yourself audit or having an energy audit done is you understand your home better and everybody's home is a little bit different. The home is a system so we need to think about it as kind of a dynamic place. Bob Ruskamp is a home energy specialist with Lincoln Electric System and he is helping homeowner Andrea Davis with an energy audit. They began by using an online guide for a do-it-yourself home energy audit. And then we enter some general information about the house, the square footage of the house, um, the number of people in the house. Most of the utility companies in Nebraska have a similar guide on their website. An important thing to investigate is the envelope or the physical shell of your home that separates the space that is heated and cooled from the unconditioned space. With this door, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wood door. Um, if you do have to replace it someday, they do make insulated doors, which the thermal, thermal characteristics are a lot more efficient. And along with that, the, um, the weather stripping along the door um, really keeps the drafts out of the house down and, and makes the house more comfortable. Um, doors, windows, even foundations are all places where air leakage can occur. Air is moving constantly throughout our homes. Heat moves to cold. High moisture levels move to low moisture levels. And high pressure moves to low pressure. Big gaps like this, um, the foam in the can works really well. In addition to leaks, vapor barriers and insulation need to be evaluated. And there is no evidence at all that there's any insulation in this wall. So, so how do you insulate something that's already closed? This particular wall system, you can insulate from the exterior of the house or from the inside. If you're going to do it from the inside, what they will do is, is drill holes top. Reducing the leaks and improving the insulation can increase comfort and reduce the demands on the HVAC system. HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. In most homes, most of the energy used goes to heating and cooling. So evaluating the HVAC system is an important part of any home energy audit. When I first bought the house, I had somebody, of course, come and do an inspection, and that was one of the first things they said, replace the furnace. Um, on your heating costs, you could save 30 to 35 percent of your heating costs by upgrading this, this furnace to a new furnace. And you also have the option of, depending on what the fuel rates are, um, to also look at a heat pump system. Heat pump system will give you the central air conditioning you, you're looking at versus the window air conditioners, which will cool the house. In addition to what you see, you may need to take into account things you can't see, like indoor air quality and ventilation. Some people think that if you have a really tight house, if there's no drafts in it, that that's kind of the way to maximize your, get your best bang for your buck. Cause Getting the house tight is good, but if we get it tight enough where it's starting to affect some of the indoor air quality of the house, then we can bring in some mechanical ventilation to offset that. Um, we're concerned, one thing with the older furnaces and the water heaters with the, 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 the vents on them, that if we get the house too tight, the appliances don't vent properly and they start to backdraft where we get some of that carbon or carbon monoxide back into the house. And it's, it's very important a lot, in a lot of cases. That's why we do some testing on the house. Um, insulating contractors and some of the energy companies, they have what they call a blower door where they actually do an air leakage test on the house. So they'll come in and do a Blower doors and thermal imaging cameras are tools that certified home energy specialists can use for comprehensive testing of a home's energy efficiency. The science behind energy use in the home has come a long way, 
but you don't have to have fancy tools to find opportunities to save energy. Children may come home from school or they may be very interested in what they can do to help with improving our environment and to save energy. And so one of the things we've done uh, through UNL Extension is to develop a 4-H project. It is called Design Decisions and this is uh, on home environment. And one of the things that we... Wherever you look in a home, you will find elements to consider as opportunities for improving energy efficiency. Compact fluorescent bulbs and LED lighting use significantly less energy than incandescent bulbs. I notice here in the kitchen you have a ceiling fan, which is another good energy savings item. Um, anytime you have air circulation, it, in the, especially in the summertime... A new Energy Star refrigerator may be twice as efficient as an old refrigerator. If the appliance needs to be replaced, that's the time to upgrade it to the highest efficiency appliances. It's really not cost effective to replace something that's really working well. Use a programmable thermostat to automatically adjust the temperature to fit your lifestyle. Is if you can set back the temperature in the winter time, say 10 degrees when you're gone to work, you can save 3 to 5 percent on your heating bills in the winter time. Doing a home energy audit helps a person understand the dynamics of their home, and it helps in setting priorities for maintenance and improvements. Any home can made, be made more energy efficient and it can be done safely and it also improves comfort. People want to be comfortable in their home and I think part of that comes with understanding how your home operates. All right, so we've uh, collected a lot of information and what does that mean? We sure have. A, we've got a couple different reports for you. Um, our first report is we did an analysis of your heating and cooling system and what we basically found out... So which improvements make the most sense for you? To figure it out, you can do a home energy audit. For help, check with your utility company. Chances are good that they will have useful information on their website. The websites for Energy Star and for state and federal energy offices also have valuable information, including current offerings for special loan programs and tax credits for energy-saving home improvements. <laughs>